Hi, my name is Jared. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add modifiers to a product. So first, we'll start out and go to the Products and Services page. In this example, we're going to add chicken and salmon option to salad. So we already have the salad product, so we're going to add the chicken and salmon as separate products. First, we'll start out with chicken. Select a category. We don't have one, so we'll make one called salad toppings. Let's save. Since we're not going to sell this chicken item outside of the salad, we'll just make a component. And we'll track the inventory, and we'll make that unit ounces. And finish. And we'll do it again for the salmon. Much the same process. So we already have the salad toppings. Make it a component. And make it unit ounces. Finish. So next we'll want to add those items to the salad. Basically we'll find the item and hit edit and click add modifiers. First you want to create a modifier group. We have a couple in here but we'll create a new one called salad extras. To add products you click the add product button. First we'll go to salad toppings, find our chicken, Click next. If we have ounces, next, we'll say each salad is going to have roughly four ounces on it. And the extra cost we're going to charge is $1.50. And we want to add our salmon. Do the same process. Four ounces, and we'll say $3. And finish. And then you save. And now it'll be on there. And we're going to switch to the iPad and show you how it looks there. So here we are on the iPad screen. First thing you're going to want to do is touch the refresh button. Normally it refreshes every five minutes, but we'll do it here so we get the data right away. Next we'll touch the salad button. And we see our chicken and our salmon. Touch the chicken, touch the salmon, and they'll both be put on there if we hit done. So here we have both items on there, and you can see the added price for each one is added here. If we ever want to edit this, we'll touch this little pencil button, and you can touch one of the salmon, we'll take it off. You can use this field to add additional things that might not be on here, and then hit done when you're done. So that's how you add a modifier, and that's what it looks like on the app. For this and other videos, please visit our support portal at salesview.com.